Okay, we are going to do a f interior video now. So this is driver's side door. A lot of this stuff can actually be sourced from Outbacks and Legacies of the same era. So that's kind of the cool thing about Baja is part Forster, part Outback slash Legacy and full on Baja. Steering wheel, there is a little bit of leather fading here. And a little bit more than what I would like as far as separation goes there. I did want to replace it with the Momo steering wheel at one time and would like to... Maybe you can do that. Uh, the seats are 2003 WRX seats that I had reupholstered. I got uh, Subaru Forester STI SF1 seat covers. And I had the upholsterer redo this rebolster all this because we all know the wrx seats especially right here and right here the the upholstery will be ripped and torn and also the the padding gets deteriorated so this has all been restored on this side the driver's side and then retrofitted so coming in to the car you can see we have our fog lamps cruise control which does work and the rear cargo lamp. Let's see if that works. Yes, it does. And then let me get my keys. Turn it on. Okay, so we are on 172,683 miles on the body and on the interior um the carpets were i dyed the tub dyed black i'm gonna flash that out of the way tub dyed black um there is some fading that you guys can see in the pictures and then i have these little razu outback uh floor covers um i had to drill a little hole there to make it fit the factory a hook some pedal coat covers uh, I did buy those when I was in Japan, so technically they're JDM, LOL. Anyway, I put them on there just because it does widen the pedals out for blip shifting and also gas pedal driving or gas brake driving. A center console as well. Uh, I did paint that all black. And then coming on around to the glove box area or the center console compartment. Oops. There is the remote for the stereo. That right there that you just saw kind of slide forward is the base gain for there is an 8 inch sub underneath of the passenger seat. <coughs> um, so all controls work. The stereo is very, uh, very nice. Um, let's go ahead and turn the volume up. So you got several different modes. Obviously radio, a USB source. Um, of course, I don't have any plug in. Then there's a USB rear. And there's Pandora. If you want to go ahead and subscribe to that, you can also just play it through your phone, just like the iHeartRadio through your phone, Bluetooth audio, um, and then auxiliary, which is you can actually plug it in right there for auxiliary. I plug my iPod into that one because you can play an iPod as well. Standby, HD radio, um, I do believe it is probably, where is your, well auxiliary is the, uh, is, there we go, that is for your iPod. Anyway. All right, enough of that. So, uh, heater controls, AC, recirc, rear defrost, and mirror. Your mirror is here, and it is a light-sensitive, a self-darkening mirror. You've got your visors, of course, both of them flip up, and you can see that mirrors this is for your sunroof i will demonstrate its operation really cool on nice cooler days you can go ahead and vent it if you so choose or you can roll it all the way back or put it 
wherever position you want. Rolling it front, they have a, you got it rolls forward once, that's to make sure your hands are out of the way, and then you can go ahead and close it. All right, glove box in here. You will, there is um, the chuck for my rims for the lug nuts, I'll show you. So I welded the spline key to a 19 millimeter socket, half inch drive, makes it a lot easier. You got some fuses, less swab tires, uh, warranty. There's a little amp in there in the wiring for that, that for my stereo system that powers the mids and highs. Um, I once did stereo competitions. I tried to find a better place to put it for the time that I had, but I didn't. So that's where it's been sitting for these past few years. Uh, Cobb short shift uh, shifter along with a racing lockout and Cobb shift knob. Um, Cobb access port, which will turn on when I start the engine. Um, it comes with the car as well. Wipers, washers, I will demonstrate all that. So that you've got your headlights, which probably will not turn on because the car is not running, which they will not. And But you have your blinker, blinker, wipers, that's intermediate, adjustable, of course, then your low, high, washers. Okay, now, so from the driver's door, auto down. And the passenger from the driver's door. And passenger rear from the driver's door. And passenger, or driver's rear from the door. All right. So that's that part of it. Uh, let's do continuing on. So the rear seat, we have, there's a decent amount of room in there. You got a couple of cup holders. You've got this little stowage box here. You can put something there if you so choose. Uh, there is a burn right there. I do believe that the first owner was a smoker. There's just kind of some tail, tail signs of it. Uh, the second owner I know very well is a good friend of mine. Uh, did not smoke and neither do I. So there's that. All right, so the rear, I took out the rear headrests. I do have them. I just didn't like the way they kind of blocked the rear of your mirror. And again, I like streamlined stuff. So rear seat belts, this, I have them put in here for demonstration purposes, which you'll see in a minute. But you can quickly there's enough storage space back here i put all my oil and a little toolbox and stuff and all that back there. there's plenty of room for it but to make the rear cargo seat or the rear cargo fold down you take the rear seat and you're going to flip it up and then you'll take the bottom seat and it flips down and now you got a big storage space if you get rid of the cargo net and move it to the side, which is a lot harder to do one-handed. All right. All right. There is behind here, there is the jack. Well, in theory, there you go. There's the jack. All right. This is the fold down for the rear cargo um, on this side over here is the the rest of the uh, shoot the rest of the uh, equipment to take off your tires all right and then I will show you here. So that's the fold down hatch. A light does come on on your dash when that's down, by the way. So that's your pass through that you can run when you drop your bed. And oh, my lights are still on. It, it, it'll, uh, you can fit some 
12 foot 2 by 4s believe it or not, and stuff like that in there. I've done it a few times when it was a daily and <coughs> not in street mode like it is now. All right, and my headlights did turn on. Okay, so rear door panel. Uh, since the mirror, the window's down, I just demonstrate that it does roll up, which means that it does roll down. Okay. Um, we'll do the same driver here. And then I will quickly walk around. Four. Passenger front and passenger rear. So there are door speakers in every single door. You can read the list that I have, plus the tweeters that I have up here and an eight inch sub as far as regards to stereo. Yes, this is all gonna be put back. Um, and then this is a look of the interior from looking from the front to the back. And then you can see the sunroof there as well um these dome lights do work or map lights whatever you want to call them and of course this one is for complete off or driver door open or regular on all right okay guys i think that wraps it up as far as interior goes feel free to ask any questions 20% window tint and my window tinter is capable of putting the tint clear up to the edge of the glass so as you can see there's no cut line it looks like it's you know like a factory tint uh, all right I think that concludes the interior